right, we're here with Dr. Jessica Elmore, Associate Director of Diversity Programs for the K-State Alumni Association. And Dr. Elmore, we just wanted to ask you, what are some lessons you've learned through your leadership experience? Ooh, really good questions. Okay, so I'm gonna give you, let's say three, three lessons. The first would be courage. Now, I do a lot of work in diversity, equity, and inclusion, and we know that's a really big thing now. And probably what I find, the question is, is how do I say X, Y, and Z, or how do I address the situation? And what that really comes down to is the courage. The courage to be able to speak when no one else is willing to speak, the courage to stand when no one else is standing with you, and the courage to be able to do what you believe is right, no matter the consequence. And so that's a really, really important piece as a leader because people are looking to you to say, is this appropriate for moving forward? And so if you have a desire to be a leader or you have people who are looking to you as a model, make sure that courage is a part of that. My second would be um, have vision. No one wants to follow a leader who has no vision. It just kind of feels crazy. So you have to actually take time to think through what is it that you're accomplishing. So then you can kind of back that up and then find out what kind of tasks need to be delegated. A lot of times leaders want to be able to just you know, do it and sometimes you get a little behind and then you feel kind of crazy because you, know, you don't wanna give somebody something last minute and so you don't really actually delegate. But in order to be a successful leader, you've gotta have that vision and you've gotta think through what those steps would be. So then when you have a team and they're saying, how can I be of service? You'll be able to give them some delegated tasks. And one thing that I do is actually I look at low level, medium level and high level delegation tasks so that if somebody only has a couple of minutes or they're really not able to be present, I'll find a low level task to somebody who's able to actually dedicate some real time. So you wanna be able to do that, have vision and actually have some delegation skills. And then the third, you gotta be real. Nobody likes fake. It's all about authenticity. Um, people want to understand and want to be able to join a team where it feels like they can be comfortable. And so if you as a leader aren't being authentically you, if you're not approachable, if you're just not really able to bring down some of those guards, um, understanding that there are things that you may or may not be able to do, but if you can practice that, practice who you are and to be able to stand in that, that's going to take you so, so far. I know that that has blessed me in my life and I'm just thankful for the opportunity. So make sure that you've got courage, you've got vision with some delegation, and that you are true to who you are. Thank you so much, Dr. Elmore.